Good morning, YouTube. Got a full day of work ahead of us today. Unique work. It's part of my work coming right there. Well, somebody just got a new gas dirt bike, so he's moved up, graduated from the electric. It's this one right here. A Honda. And this is my helmet right here. This green though. There's a little spring right there. For the tire when you go. The tire goes like up and down when it's going over rocks and stuff. This is the front shield. I call it a shield. To keep mud from get off you. To get off from from getting on you. This is the front tire. And like and um it doesn't go so fast and they want it to go fast so uh, pretty cool and um it's called a coaster and my and my dad has one over there right there my parents i think you guys seen the other video my parents bought that for him for christmas didn't really ride it much now he's riding it got pretty serious so we got him a new uh gas one and so now i gotta prepare somewhere a little bit better for him to ride at and of course i want to ride too because i've got one too that i'll show you a little bit later but we're gonna go and make a track parents got some property we're gonna cut some trails through the woods make a few jumps make a cool motocross track so i got the tractor loaded up here got that ready so I got my tractor loaded up here, Takahuchi T-130. And uh, we're gonna go over there and see what we can come up with. If I can get him off of that thing so we can get headed to my parents. Brev, let's go! Evil Knievel. All you gotta do is use your brakes. So, I'm gonna load this up, a little electric up. Well, you let him use that for a test run. My bike's already over there and uh, we're gonna make a pit bike track today. Let's go. All right, so first on the list today, this is one of the little tabletops we're building coming out of that turn right there. I had a jump here. I think we're gonna take this jump out. Maybe make a little rhythm section here. Six or seven little whoops here. But I'm using some of that dirt to extend the, uh, the landing on this little tabletop. That way, when we come off this tabletop, it's just not this drastic of a fall so I want to just kind of dress that out pretty good get some of these sticks out of here and then uh, I need to fix this tabletop a little bit to kind of smooth the top of it out I can chop off some of that dirt off of the top of this and then put it down here on the landing get that straightened out I'm pretty pleased with this one this is one of the tabletops. This one's pretty much like what I want to look. I got a good face to the jump here. We got a good long, that's probably a, a 20 foot long tabletop. Of course I need to fill in some of the little holes and so forth there. And then I got a, about an eight or 10 foot landing coming off of it. So it should be a pretty safe jump for anybody. Coming into the berm here shooting through these at the power pole in the tree there we'll probably take this tree out eventually that one's gonna have to come out then I got another tabletop here built in the woods <clears throat> just a smaller tabletop you'll jump this one just kind of go flat then I cut out a berm down here did you get your chips out of the cooler yes cool Dorito man <laughs> Dorito man Alright, I guess that means I get the Cheetos.
All right, so we're in the uh, ski steer here. We're gonna, we got most of our jumps built. Yeah. And now the job is to uh, kind of pack them down. Then we get to go get the motorcycles. Yeah. And give them a little test run. So uh, hang out with us while we do that. Time to get suited up. Got your little boots. Get your pants on. You gonna put your jersey on? Yeah. You are? Okay. Like what we need them to or not. What's your favorite part so far? Um, I'm excited to um get on the track and see what it feels like in and like see how soft it is and stuff right all right dude you got a full get up you like your new suit yeah black and gray O'Neill suit you got a new helmet new gloves you're a new man Bro, let's go. Uh, let's take your bite to Granny's and uh, go eat lunch. We're gonna have to pick up a couple parts here. That's the promise of buying a Chinese motorcycle, right there mufflers loose I got a few bolts out here and there that I need to tighten up which is uh anybody that's had dirt bikes know that's definitely part of having one just having little bolts come out here and there I try to keep it all tightening up but the bike actually has a good bit of vibration in it I mean for what they cost I mean what do you expect it's only like 500 bucks for a whole motorcycle and uh you know like my exhaust is pretty shaky here I got to tighten up some of those bolts there and get a few things that motorcycle I have is a 125 Taos Tau um would I recommend it to anybody else yes I think I would here's the thing um I bought that motorcycle with the intentions thinking that I'm just gonna put put around him with him in the yard if you're just riding trails probably not getting off the ground much and just wanting to have something to play around in the yard, I suggest the Tao Tao or the SSR, any of those Chinese dirt bikes. But uh, as soon as he got his, I grew up riding dirt bikes too, so as soon as he got his, man, it felt good to be on a motorcycle again. So before you know it, just like you saw him building jumps, we're making turns, we're hitting berms, hitting the rev limiter, we're doing everything that you can do with a motorcycle. So. If you think you're going to ride pretty seriously, I wouldn't get that. I'd go ahead and get the KLX 110, uh, the CRF 110. I'd get like a true pit bike. I'd get a uh, one of the Japanese models. But if you're looking to just play around in the yard, I think they're just fine. Tau -tau, I mean, what do you have to lose? What do you, like 500 bucks doesn't buy anything anymore. 
so you really don't have anything to lose if i ride that bike to christmas and it falls completely apart which i doubt will happen i mean it'll fall apart but it's nothing that just you know things need tighten up and things like that but uh if you're just going to fall around you think you're going to be doing some jumps you be putting some hours in on the on the pegs of it just want to have something you can kind of depend on if you're riding trails and going like a long way i definitely say get a japanese bike you'd be a lot more pleased all right so we're out here getting it in we got some of the old fam here my cousin he brought his uh cr 450 in we'll see if we can get him doing a couple jumps willie's just so forth the track is working out pretty good he got his son here too <clears throat> after lunch we took a little lunch break and uh brevin went home for the day but uh my other little cousin got a 50 if i can catch him we're gonna check him out he got a little pw 50 he's out here ripping it on the track send it man jump a little bit whoa <laughs> about to hit the burn Getting better. Uh oh. Uh oh. What you think? Thumbs up. Good. Go. Mama say go. <laughs> Tell us what we got here, Chance. Well, we got a 2018 CRF 450 R. Brand, you, you finished getting the brake in yet? Broke yeah. in? Yeah, it broke all the way in. Broke in. She race ready. Uh oh. We back. dropped one down there. Uh oh. You good? <laughs> That's what I need right here. So Cuz about to send it right here on the 450. Brand new CRF 450. Hope the PW don't get run over though. PW could get, could get run over. This stuff cleared out soon. We'll have a mega pit bike track. Here we go. It comes right here. Say, let me get some too. Here he come. Oh, he got some speed. He got some speed. Check him out.
so that's it folks I think that's enough trail riding for today I'm gonna quit before I break something and uh, done I think the track turned out pretty good listen I know this is not my normal fishing video but uh, sometimes a man's got to have fun too it's off season I'm looking to enjoy life a little bit get out here and ride bikes with my kids and some of the family it's gonna be a lot of fun as we keep adding on to this uh, pit bike track I'll keep you guys posted it's gonna be a lot of fun I promise you this is gonna be a real cool track once we got done this is just the start of it this is just the first piece when I get some downtime we're gonna clear out all these woods and uh, make one of the coolest pit bike tracks ever we're gonna race down here camp down here have a lot of good times this summer and this fall so I hope you like this I know it's not fishing you're not gonna learn anything about fishing in this video but I'm about to send it one more time before it's time to go to the house. Peace.